What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you on Lucid. I want to go over some of the current data points, what is coming out from the company, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So currently it is down 0.25%, very little volume. So 7.89 million shares being traded, 30.23 is the average. A lot of volatility though, so $4.17 the high, 404 is the low. Yesterday there was a new 52 week and all-time low of $3.98. So based on my last video when I kind of talked on the technicals, so far it seems to be coming true. So I did indicate despite a lot of the positive things that's happening operationally, just the broader market is dragging Lucid down. So of course, based on the technicals, I did anticipate mid threes, but I'll give you a quick summary on that in a second. There's a lot of articles coming out, both kind of sentiments though, so both positive and negative. So this one recently came out, it looks like uh, earlier today. So Lucid is recalling over 1,000 cars, and that's just for the rear seats, uh, I guess overheating, potentially causing some burns. In my opinion, not that big of a deal, but still it's something to kind of consider. And over and above that though, just a lot of optimism. So Lucid Motors can still be the next Tesla, and here's why. So ultimately they do kind of cycle in how Saudi Arabia is going to be one of the biggest driving factors for Lucid success, along with the gravity. So the gravity is going to be making contact on November the 16th. So this is going to be a very, very big deal. And still with today being October the 27th, I don't think they've actually done a full launch for the Sapphire. I know I've asked you guys this a couple times, but am I wrong about this? Have they done a actual launch for the Sapphire? Because I have seen some customers already taking possession of them, but I haven't seen anything that's floating around. So like I've said, I would have anticipated for them to make it very symbolic and have it on the 31st, but still as of right now, they haven't really announced anything that I'm aware of. But let me know your thoughts on that. And like I said, when it comes to this article, it talks on how Saudi Arabia is going to be a very big factor for Lucid's success. And so there was this video that was posted. So I just wanted to quickly play this. It's about a minute and 53 seconds. And once again, Faisal does talk on how ultimately just being in that region is very advantageous. And I've said this kind of in the past on how there's a metal plant very, very close by, I think within like a one kilometer per se. And that's going to make things so easy for Lucid, especially for transportation on a large uh, global scale as well. So like I said, I'm just gonna quickly play this a minute and 53 seconds and I'll go over some of the data points and things like that. In, in general, when we talk about uh, localizing supply chain, you know, you can get the parts right near your plant and also have the ecosystem which includes the infrastructure of charging. Mm -hmm. It really helps the consumer in a couple of ways. You know, cost in the long term, of course, goes down. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the electric vehicles, uh, you know, energy wise, they're much cheaper. In some cases, depending on which country you are, you know, five to ten times cheaper than the uh, petrol or uh, gasoline based vehicles just to operate from an energy point of view. Mm -hmm. So I think with, with that, we definitely are going to have uh, a lot of benefits for the consumer mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the long term. And our goal always has been, just like we've started our second manufacturing plant, our first international plant mm -hmm. in King Abdullah Economic City mm -hmm. to assemble vehicles, mm -hmm. in the future, we are going to convert that into a full assembly plant. So personally, I think, you know, globally, by 2030, 50% of the new car sales in the world are going to be electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, regionally, I think we've seen a lot of effort mm -hmm. that is happening now, where you're seeing in Saudi, in UAE, and all, all of the other countries, you know, where I think roughly with the policies that are being put in place, we're going to have 30% of the new car sales mm -hmm. be electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. And I think that, so we will produce the cars here, not just for the Saudi consumption, mm -hmm. but also the regional and global consumption over long run. 
So again, as I've said in the past, I absolutely love Faisal. I actually think that he would make a very good CEO, not to critique Peter. Well, technically, I don't really care, um, even critiquing him or not. I absolutely love Faisal and how he really upholds himself. And based on a lot of his podcasts in the past, he says and gives so much information, more than just lucid combined. So definitely, he's the man um, overall. But like he mentioned, just being in the region is going to be very, very good. So sometimes when I'm critical on lucid on the stock price, that's just merely the technicals. This is why I still do cover lucid because operating Operationally, they're doing a lot of things right. Of course, there's some room for improvement on deliveries and so forth, but, and plus the stock price doesn't really correlate with what a lot of people feel is accurate, but again, it's more of a bigger picture kind of concept as what he mentioned, I think two or three times, 2030, that is when you should be really aiming for your investment. But once again, I'm not a financial advisor. You guys always do your own due diligence. I just wanted to briefly bring this up. So Lucid Air launches ultra exclusive Air Kingdom Dream Edition. And so ultimately around 93 units, this was announced about a month ago. And it does look like there was a little bit more of an update. So there is going to be auctions starting very soon about this and for these Dream Editions, Kingdom Dream Editions. So once again, as far as the price point, it's going to come down to the auction, but still regardless, kind of cool stuff that I just wanted to share with you. So when it comes down to some of the data points, I'll give you an overview of that. So currently right now, $274,000 and calls being purchased versus 1.37 million inputs. So unfortunately, people are anticipating for it to trend down. In fact, 63% of all the options activity is bearish. Looking on the calls for the open interest, it is anticipated for this upcoming uh, November the 10th expiry date. So that's going to encumber their Q3 earnings. People are anticipating for it to roughly be between the about 6 to 650 range. So very, very optimistic when it comes to that. But for those individuals that are bearish, oddly, people are anticipating for it to be sub 350. So kind of both extremes when it comes down to that. I'll give you an overview of what shorts did and what they are doing. So short score is currently 87. Utilization is 96.49. And then shorts right now are returning 555,000 shares, which in my opinion is kind of optimistic. 25.68% of the free flow is being shorted. 225.85 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost to borrow average is 13.47. And through the interactive broker short availability does indicate that there's around 200,000 shares available. So I'm not here to say that Lucid is going to be a squeeze play because in order for a squeeze to occur, you need four things, a high utilization, a lot of shares being shorted, a lot of, or a fairly high cost to borrow, which Lucid kind of does have all three. The only thing that's really missed is a surprise catalyst. So that has been something that Lucid's been not really the best with in the past. But like I mentioned, the technicals are breaking down a little bit. And this is why I did project at least in the short term for it to go to about $3.50 around that. But as it stands with it at $4.07, $3.94 is the next strong support and $4.21 is going to be the next strong resistance. So kind of within obviously it touched that resistance point so the s1 but like i said just with a lot of broader concerns i do feel that it's going to break below this three dollars and 94 cents and then trade between this s3 and this s2 but once again that's just my own interpretation of course and so when it comes down to these two data points looking at the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors are getting in and based on the overall dollar value being a little bit low institutions aren't buying lucid but rather just obviously retail so that might be a good thing bad thing i'll leave it up to you guys to make that determination and stochastic is currently at six which is considered very oversold so unfortunately like i said a lot of the data points behind the scenes are still a little bearish insinuating that it is going to go down but it's just a waiting game because bigger picture as what Faisal did say bigger things are coming especially by 2030 and lucid is doing things right there a little slow to the game than what a lot of people would probably like but regardless they are not 
nonetheless making improvements. And that's probably the bigger thing to take away from all that. So let me know your thoughts on Lucid in the comments below. Give yourself a shout out if you have been buying, selling, holding over the last little bit, what you've been doing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And even though Lucid goes up, down, sideways, all over the place, take advantage of this promo with Moomoo. Just sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. In fact, they even show Lucid as far as potentially one of the free stocks that you could get among many, many others. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, I appreciate all of you watching. Thank you.